Hey guys, Joe East here again. I'm gonna do another little chat on the Corona hoax. The stage magicians are doing this with this hand, distracting you with what's going on here while doing something with this hand to trick you. Don't fall for the fear or the hoax. You're smarter than that because you watch this. Okay, so logistics. Um, there's a talk of cancellation of, say, uh, restaurant service, bar service, and et cetera. Just things like restaurants, bars, salons, spas. And I'm going to show you how that's not going to work logistically. And how um, those of you who are attorneys can make plenty of money by uh, lawsuits after all this happens. If they actually try to shut down restaurants, bars... Uh, even if they do just a drive through uh, attorneys, listen here because you're going to make tons of freaking money by suing the crap out of people. Um, have fun because I'm all for it because I, I, anyway, this is illegitimate. So, um, okay, so let's consider what I know quite uh, well given my profession. Uh, I'm not going to give you any details to where you'll uh, know specifics, but kind of a generality. I presented it to uh, my wife earlier, and she understood it quickly with these simple diagrams. So I'm going to walk you through these simple diagrams here to show you how the power grid works, just electricity, and how if you close down certain uh, restaurants, pubs, whatever, uh, how that's going to affect just the power grid. And this is not even talking about the infrastructure of roads, sewer, water, etc., all the other infrastructure. This is only power grid for your electricity. Okay, we all have power coming into our house. If you're not involved in a high power industry, you got you know electricity coming. You know, plug your lights in the wall, turn your air conditioners on, your heaters, uh, stove, microwave, whatever, electronic devices. Okay. However, homes typically don't have backup. Why? Because the cost of failure of a home uh, electricity failure is a week of groceries. Essentially, if you uh, if the electricity causes damage to a house, it's gonna the groceries are gonna go bad. It's gonna cost you about four hundred dollars. Round numbers, okay? So the backup systems are what five to ten thousand dollars. So that's why homes do not have backup systems unless somebody's got a lot of piles of money hanging around and you want a toy. But economically, you don't have backups at homes because it's not economically. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, so we got the power plant up here producing all that power coming to hospitals, factories and plants, and homes. Okay, so our experience with homes, we don't have backup systems in our homes, unless you got it on a computer uh, with some of the older PCs might have, a say, a, an APC backup system or something. But nowadays, we probably don't need them, uh, depending on if you live in a, a area where the grid's pretty solid, you probably don't need a backup for anything. At your house. At work, it might be different. Okay, so let's take a hospital, okay? Critical care. Um, if they don't have power, people can die. Okay, respirators, radiation therapy, cancer treatment, blood infusions, etc., etc., etc. So hospitals have to have backup systems. I mean, they'll say they last for 12 hours. It's probably not probably going to last any longer than 12 hours, okay? All right, so what happens if this electrical infrastructure fails... And then the backup is depleted after 12 hours. All right. You get death, disease, and agony and a lot of money problems. Okay. If the hospital goes down due to the grid, electrical grid. Um, okay. What happens, say, a factory or a plant? Well, let's say they have backups on some of their systems for, say, 12 hours. After that 12 hours, if this grid is not working, then they can lose like a million dollars a day, probably, for some of the bigger... Um, Factory slash plants, um, or half a million dollars a day. A lot of money lost. The second possibility is fires. You start getting a lot of fires. Uh, look at the news in the past two years, plant fires. They're everywhere. 
Okay, and that's with a pretty stable grid. Just think of what happens if this grid goes away. No power, right? Or the power just does weird stuff because it's not maintained, okay? You can, and you, know, you can also get explosions, okay? Some plants, volatile materials, uh, stuff goes bad when uh, electricity goes away. Okay, so let me move to this way. So you can illustrate the cause and effect scenarios of just the grid, um, what the grid requires. Okay, so the, the power plant is a critical asset because he's supplying hospitals and factories. And if the hospitals and factories have issues with the grid, they can have bad stuff happening. Again, lawyers, insurance, money, lawsuits, all kind of crap happens when bad stuff happens. Okay, that's why I'm telling you lawyers to queue it up because bad stuff is going to happen if restaurants and pubs uh, do not remain open. I'm going to show you how it affects just, just the grid, just the grid. Okay. So critical, critical, critical. So if you're a power plant, hospital, factory, it's critical. If you're a house and you lose the grid, it's an inconvenience. Unless you got elderly and sick people there, depending on the electrical grid, then it's critical. Okay. So it could be critical at your home or inconvenience, right? So if you're if you're at a house and you don't deal with high power, you probably don't understand the factory and the hospital until I just walked you through it. Whoa, the grid's important. So this grid requires maintenance work. Maintenance work and monitoring by guys, maintenance crews, it, it requires. Okay, you got a guy traveling around your city. Um, he's not at his house. He's not in the office. He's at a substation. He's traveling to uh, another power line place to fix stuff. Okay. All right. He needs what? What does he need? He needs to eat some food. He needs some rest areas to take his break. He needs water. And he needs various supplies, the tools he uses for his trade, gasoline for the vehicle to get out to the field to do the maintenance work. All right. <laughs> the, the grid is spread out a bit. It's got a maintenance. Everywhere there's electricity, there must be maintenance. All right. A uh, vehicle. His vehicle needs tires. The tires can't be not inflated and they have to be good uh, or the vehicle's not going to work. So that means uh, car repair places have to be open. And he also has a home that he returns to to sleep or a hotel to sleep in if he's in a remote sector of the field. All right. So you have to have hotels. They have to be working for all this to work. All right. You get what I'm saying? If you're an administrator and you're a leadership in government, you better freaking know this stuff or you are responsible for this bad stuff happening and you're going to get your ass sued or worse. Yeah, or worse. If it's criminal malfeasance, you go to jail in some cases. It's probably extreme and probably the worst cases, but yeah, you drop the grid and you get somebody killed. You're in freaking trouble, you dumbass government workers that are doing all this stuff. I heard like maybe Louisiana might have some edicts on this. You guys better watch your asses. You get somebody killed, you're in trouble. Big trouble. You crazy government administrators, you do not know what you're doing. If you're shutting down restaurants and pubs, just that, because the guys need to eat food and where are they going to get the food? Restaurants, pubs, pubs, you can get a pretty good steak at most pubs, bars and get some good bar food is cheap. Some of these working class guys, they don't want to spend a lot of money uh, on a big restaurant. They want some, some reasonable price food and man food, meat, steak, potatoes, Chinese food. You probably get all that stuff there. Pretty good prices at Chinese restaurants if you get a pretty good one. Um, so yeah, you have to have these restaurants. They gotta eat. If they don't eat, the work doesn't get done. If they gotta drive all the way back to a damn food store and put it in an ice chest, that's more work that needs to be done. That's gonna slow down the uh, the maintenance work. Okay. Uh, tool shops. Well, if all these guys that are doing this work here. And again, it's not just guys in the field. It's administrators that are doing the scheduling. It's uh, managers that are managing these crews. All right. There's a lot of people doing this stuff out there that if you don't know what the logistics of a civilization is, uh, you better not make any dumb decisions and get people killed. Right. You want to be on the evening news, right? He killed somebody because he shut down these bars because 
chain reaction, okay? So with all these guys that are, you know, making sure all this stuff works, plumbers, electricians, and road crew guys that are keeping the road safe, the water company, the sewer company, all this stuff's got to work. And all these guys do similar things. They got dispatched to uh, sites that do maintenance work. That's, that's infrastructure. That's civilization. If they don't have food, this stuff doesn't get done. And you're going to get screwed if you shut down bars and restaurants. So all these guys need tool shops, material shops, drug stores. Some of the guys uh, might have pains in their legs from whatever, uh, injuries. They'll need some Tylenol or some Advil. Drug stores, restaurants, bars, we all talked about that already. Gas stations have to be open. These trucks, got to have gas or diesel. Mechanics. Mechanics have to be ready to repair the, the equipment and the trucks. You have to have mechanics out there. Uh, food places, hotels, roads. I mentioned roads. Infrastructure has to be there for this work to be done. If they, if you got, if they got 100 potholes within a, a quarter of a mile, it slows all this down. And if this stuff gets slows down, bad stuff starts happening. And fires happen and people might get killed or hurt. Uh, trash service infrastructure these guys are out in the field in every neighborhood picking up trash well if they're out in the field where are they going to eat restaurants pubs bars chinese restaurants okay they got to be open they need rest places they're going to rest in the restaurant while they're eating talking to their colleagues that are rest in the truck but you, they have to have a place to rest can't be shutting places down uh entertainment and religion for those who are out in the remote field uh so Let's say you get dispatched to West Texas or uh, some remote area of uh, East Texas or North Louisiana, somewhere remote on the Gulf Coast, anywhere in the USA. Just I, I know Texas and Louisiana because that's my uh, business area. But uh, remote areas, these workers need entertainment and perhaps some religion stuff out there. So uh, you can't be shutting down their entertainment. Guys get nuts when they don't get their entertainment and sometimes their religious practices. All right. So those of you who are making these dumb decisions over uh, a non-existent threat, yeah, there's a lot of fear out there, but um, whenever you start affecting this stuff right here and you start causing this kind of damage, you are responsible. It's not an act of God like a supposed plague. Let's say it's real. But if you cause this stuff to happen, you are screwed. Finger pointing, lawsuits, possibly jail time, if they can prove malfeasance or something like that in office that you neglected your duties in a criminal fashion, uh, gross negligence. So, um, yeah, d <laughs> you better keep those restaurant workers working. You better keep those bars open. You better keep those pubs open and all this stuff right here. You better keep it open because that supports the guys who do this sort of stuff. And again, this is a small picture of it. This is not even all that happens. Like I said, they got sewer, water, and road construction, and probably a bunch of other stuff out there. Telecommunications, internet. If the internet goes down, people die. Because nowadays we're so integrated with the internet, we probably get a lot of our goods and services through the internet. If it ain't there, people don't get paid, services don't get delivered, drugs might not get delivered, FedEx might not get places fast enough, people start dying or getting killed from lack of equipment for maintenance, all right? The internet's another thing. It's got to be out there. You got to have all this network. So this is just a small piece I'm illustrating to you guys who are in administration, government, or whatever. If you don't know what the hell you're doing with these stupid uh, curfews and uh, shutting down places, you better get the hell out of away from dumb decisions and just let people out there do their jobs because they know these jobs ten times better than you do. You ain't that smart. You ain't smart enough to know what these guys are doing. If you're an administrator uh, with the government, you just, you can't. This is way too complex for you. Uh, all right? Just warning you guys out there, don't do anything stupid with our civilizational infrastructure. Uh, or you're going to be in big-ass trouble. Again, electricity delivery, never screw with that. Water delivery, never screw with that. Sewer telecommunications, what else did I say, uh, roads, road construction, 
people have to get places. If they're slowed down or stopped, bad stuff's going to happen. How many people die in construction zones every year because they can't get to the hospital because the ambulance is stuck in congestion, okay? Bad stuff happens. Uh, okay, so I'm just warning you guys, don't screw around with any of this stuff here. All right? Okay, so hopefully I've educated you guys with a little bit of the infrastructure I know about. And I'm getting you to think about some of the other infrastructures out there uh, that are critical on these unseen guys that do the hard work that make this civilization work. The working class guys, they're out there. They're making things happen. They're making things work. And if you don't know what the hell you're doing as an administrator or a government official, you just might as well just silently shut up. Let these guys do their work and um, let the people who supply their needs do the work, the restaurants, the supplies, the st all these infrastructure that makes this stuff happen. You got to think about this. Again, lawyers, listen up. The lawyers are going to come after you. If you screw this up, the lawyers are coming after you. Mr. Government Worker, Mr. Administrator, Mr. Whatever in the hell governors you guys think you are. All right. Okay, and I'm, I, I hope I'm not using the fear as the hysterical fear. I'm just telling you, this action leads to this action. Very simple. It's not like, oh shit, you're going to die. See, I'm not, I'm not hysterical here. I'm telling you, action A produces result B. So, you shut this down, you start affecting this stuff here. Don't do it. Okay. Hopefully you guys that work in these industries, um, I'm, you feel like I'm an advocate for you. Those of you who might work in the infrastructure business I might be an advocate for you. I know you guys are out there. I know you guys are making it happen. You're kicking ass under sun, under cold, ice, snow, hot southern sun, sweating, getting this stuff done so we can all get um, oh air conditioning and heating and internet service it has to happen okay be safe out there guys now go out there and kick some ass till next time joe east here